One thing that we know is true, Nashvillians loved Opryland and they miss it. Sure do. And now a man's asking for your help in creating the ultimate love letter to the park. News Channel 5's Forrest Sanders explains how you can get involved. Just capturing moments and candids of history is kind of my passion. A documentary filmmaker, Here's Brandon one. Vestal's world is cameras, editing timelines, and the people whose stories he tells. Time is of the essence to capture these stories before it's too late. The project he's taking on now is Ryan a Crowder's bit more project. personal. <laughs> these old family pictures are of Brandon at a special place. <laughs> Opryland, USA. We grew up in the park. We spent every day of our summers there with season passes. At the time, it just was what everyone did. Opryland closed 25 years ago, December 1997. Opryland had an incredible archive of video content that was lost in the 2010 flood in a basement on Broadway. So Brandon's decided he's going to do something for Opryland. In memory of a place that used to be right across the street, Brandon's taking things that have been submitted from eBay, anywhere. Things that just kind of, yeah, take you back, right? Russ and Becky Jeffers. We've got the original radio ads from 1972. It's a Grizzly River Rampage cap. Oh, a license plate. Really takes you back in time. And most importantly, <laughs> Brandon's gathering hundreds of hours of video footage of Opryland, including people's home movies. <laughs> this particular home video from 1981 is a gold mine. This guy didn't know it, but he's a budding Spielberg. These candids of the park in 1981 are phenomenal. Brandon's working to create an Opryland documentary, or maybe even a five-part series. Included in his work is an interview with artist Ryan Crowder, who's using virtual reality to take people through the home of American music. The idea of being able to put on the headset and go back to Opryland, it's just something you've got to experience. It's going to be wild. He says, remembering all those people who made the place great, maybe now's the right time for a little Opryland. I hope that it brings people together in this divided world we live in. We all can agree that this was a great thing, a Southern thing, and celebrate it together. At Forrest Sanders, News Channel 5. Next best thing to be in there. Well, if you've got some pictures or videos you'd like to share with Brandon for his documentary project, there are two ways to reach him. You can email him at brandon at opryland.com or go to his site, opryland.com. We'll keep you updated on where and when you can eventually see Brandon's work.